How's it going nerds? Welcome back to another building guide. Now in this guide, I will be showing you guys my process of how I would build a pond base. I go over simple designs, little techniques that can really make your bases stand out. So if you guys end up liking what you see, please stick around and watch all the way to the end. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing that I always like to do is picture the entrance. Now, again, this is a building guide, not necessarily as a step by step process. So I'm going to show you guys my vision, how I usually carry out that vision. And I'm going to show you the process, you know, the all the trial and error. And we'll definitely go from there. So I have this vision that I want this giant bridge that connects from here all the way over to there. Usually I would pick a spot that's closer to resources. I am next to the Puncho juice box. So this is the area that I have in mind that I'm going to build. The reason why I picked this spot is because it's out of the way of the wolf spiders that usually roam around the area. Though there is a chance that it could roam over here, but it's not really that high. Another thing to keep in mind is there will be wasps that will spawn above you, but I've never had any problems if you don't build high up. So this build isn't going to necessarily be a high build. Instead, it's going to be more so as like a big bridge. There are floating foundations that you can use to build on the pond itself, but for my build, I'm not gonna be using any of those because I want the build to go up and then straight across and then over. So your resources, your resources are going to be your weed stems. Now your weed stems are gonna be all over here. And then once you build across, your weed stems are gonna be on the other side. Now it is a little bit of a trek, but I think it's pretty doable in survival. The only thing that I can see that you'll be trekking for is grass, if you plan on using it. So let's go ahead and get this build started. So I have this vision of doing, like I said, this bridge. And we're gonna go from there. Okay, so here is where I'm going to start most likely. And we're gonna go all the way across. Now this bridge is going to take a lot of weed stems depending on what resources you wanna make. You can make it out of grass if you're just starting out and you want to get on the base as soon as possible, but you don't have to make it out of grass. You can you definitely use weed stems. It'll just take a while for the weed stems to respawn. So just, you know, <laughs> just bear with me. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm placing two stairs next to each other. And then from there, I'm actually going to build using the half walls. So now that we have the one by ones, what I'm going to do is I will be doing a mix of the mushroom bricks and the ash walls. And I'm gonna throw in some wheat stems and that's basically going to be it. Um, of course, this isn't going to be something that you're going to build in the beginning of the game, but this is just imagine, you know, you're upgrading your base, you've got the resources, uh, but in the beginning, I would highly recommend using grass and weed stems to get you started. There's nothing wrong in getting some blueprints out of the way, so definitely keep an eye out on that. Now, I'm going to start using the weed stem half walls to add a little bit of texture. And we're just going to surround the entire thing. We're going to go into handy net mode. Again, this build is possible to do in survival with the handy net, but you can also do it without the handy net. I just prefer to use the handy net when I'm in creative because it just makes the process go by so much faster. All right, there we go. Now I'm using the half ash walls. And we're just going to go all the way across like so. Now I'm bringing back the weed stem half walls. For now, I'm going to see how this looks. We're going to close this up and then, yep, that's looking fantastic. And we're going to place these here like so. That way you have just a simple entrance, you know, nothing too crazy. A uh, little trick, because if you don't like 90 degree angles, you don't like flat surfaces, I highly recommend that you use the triangle walls and to kind of round things out just a bit. And there you go. Nice and neat. Now we'll go in, we'll add a little bit more texture, but from here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start making the bridge. So this is just a basic outline and yeah, so let's go ahead and start. 
Now we're gonna start adding weed stems. We're gonna keep going out. Again, this is gonna take a lot of weed stems, guys, so keep that in mind. Or it's gonna take a lot of grass. And about here, now I didn't count. It just, you're gonna have to feel for it to be able to see of where you're gonna be able to build. Now I have this image that I want it to go up, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Again, bringing back the acorn stairs. So that's one, two, three, four. Now I'm gonna bring in the triangle floors and I'm just gonna round this entire area out. This is a four by two, so this should be perfectly fine. And we're going to connect these like so, and that should be it. Now we're gonna go ahead and repeat the process and we're going to do a one by one. All right, then we're gonna bring in the half ash walls. Okay, we're just gonna repeat the pattern that we did at the entrance of the bridge. You can mess around with patterns. You can use weed stems if you want. Um, but for now, I'm just going to use the mushroom bricks. I'm going to use the same thing. It depends on how I feel about it. So if I don't end up liking the entrance or if I don't want it to repeat, then I will definitely be uh, changing it up. But as of right now, come on, go up. Okay, there we go. Bring in the half weed stem walls. And the half ash walls. Now I might change this up to mushroom walls. It, it, again, it really just depends how I feel about it. So curious, curious, I wanna see what the mushroom brick walls look like up here. I think I like that a little bit better. So I'm going to get rid of the ash walls and we're going to connect it like so. So I decided to get rid of these two and I have this picture that I have in mind, so let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. So about there, and then I'm going to cover this up. So it looks about right. I am feeling like I'm missing something. So I'm going to experiment with a couple of things. So because I am not entirely too sure about this design, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to feel for it. So I'm placing these uh, quarter roofs to fill in the gaps. And that looks about right. Now I do like doing a start to finish. So I will end up doing something like this and I might actually make this taller because it doesn't look too bad here, but I feel like it's short. So let's go ahead and get rid of the top. All right, so from there you can see it is nice and flat. Maybe I'll add the weed stem walls yet again so that we can go across. And I think that's about right. Still seems a little flat, but I think I'm gonna go with it. I think I'm gonna go with it. Okay, so what I ended up doing was I did the triangle walls. The quarter triangle walls just adds this little like design in a way. So I'm going to repeat it on the other side now. There we go. And that should look about right. I could probably do a half ash wall on the top now. Now quarter triangle walls here. And I think that's about it. Okay, so then now that is our entrance. I love it, love it, love it already. Okay, so we're gonna keep everything on the bottom flat, but I just wanna show you guys what I have in mind. So it's gonna come up to a platform and then it's come. So it's gonna come up to a platform and then it's gonna come down actually. So we're gonna place this here and place that there. And we're gonna bring in more weed stem floors. So that's four four and four okay now we're gonna come out here now we're gonna come out by three and we're gonna get rid of these corners 
I have a feeling there's going to be a much larger base than I had in mind. Which I normally get teased about. <laughs> but hey, you know, you just, you're never going to know what you're going to end up building. So hopefully this works out for all of you guys. And I'm going to do a little platform underneath the stairs. So it looks like that. Perfect, perfect. So you can make this area uh, anything that you want, really. I'm going to make this the crafting section. So, okay, so now I'm going to go here. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill this up. There we go. And it's going to be just like that. Now, I am going to expand outward, so don't worry about it. Uh, this is just going to be the main room. So then now I want to be able to create this entrance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out the mushroom wall now. And you have to keep in mind when you're using half floors, you must keep it even. Otherwise, uh, it's not going to work out. Actually, change. Wait, no. Okay. And I'm going to close this up with the half ash wall. And I'm just going to come over here and check this out. Okay, perfect, perfect. So it's not too low, but it's not too high. Now, if you did want it to be a little higher, you could add another half mushroom wall, then add the, uh, or you could use, you could probably go two up, like the mushroom wall and go two up. But I'm going to keep it here just because I feel like this is just normal for me. Now in the diagonals, I'm going to add the weed stem walls. And then I'm going to add the mushroom brick walls and I'm going to connect them like so. That way it kind of looks like that. Change my mind. I have an idea. I have an idea, guys. Just trust the process. Trust the process. So I'm going to add these right here. Yeah, like that. Okay, so this finished one would be half ash wall and then the quarter triangle walls mushroom. And we're going to repeat the process on the other side. And then I'm going to bring in the quarter triangle walls yet again. The quarter triangle walls and the half walls do not go in diagonally. So, you have to keep in mind of your angles. Though, there's nothing wrong going in diagonal. I love, love, love messing with it, for sure. There we go. And now we're going to close everything up, repeating on the other side. Now I'm adding the quarter triangle wall so I can create this diamond shape. So I changed my mind. I think the I think the mushroom walls will look better. It does look better. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're gonna add the next entries. We're gonna come out and we're gonna go up yet again. So we went up by one. So now we're gonna go up by one. And we're gonna use these. We're gonna come out so it kind of like juts out just a little bit into the space itself. So remember, we're coming out half a floor. So we need to make sure that when we build outwards, we go out by another half a floor so it's even. I'm just going to copy the floors and we're going to go out by two. That way it looks like that. And I'm going to fill in the space. And remember, we came out by half half a floor, so now I'm going to fill in the half a floor here. I have, I, like I said, guys, just trust the process. Trust the process. I'm going to use these quarter triangle walls to create these railings. Now you can go ahead and uh, use actual railings, but for this process, I am using the quarter walls. I'm going to show you as to why I'm going to use them. There we go. And now I'm going to bring these over. Break out the mushroom quarter wall and close that up. So now I am using the window stem walls. Now repeat the process. We're going to go up.
Now we're gonna add the roof, and I'm just gonna use the feather roofs because they just complement the ash just so well. And now I'm gonna keep this actually pretty flat on the top. You don't have to make it top, but actually I think I might do that. You Now you can use like uh, the floors to create ceilings. And I'm gonna use the weed stem to create a little bit of texture on the top. There we go, just like that. Okay, cool. Now all we have to do is just repeat this on the other side. So I will be right back. So then now on this side, And now I'm creating this little awning over here, and I'm gonna show you that you can just use the quarter triangle walls like this. That is a quarter roof. I have a flat roof, and then you just close it up using the triangle walls. And that way you have some texture and depth. There you go. And to finish everything else up, we're just going to use the quarter stem walls um, to round everything out. And there we go. Now we have it. All right, I'm just adding little details here and there. And now we just repeat the process. So I came out by two, and then I came out by three, and then half a wall. Okay, so now we're getting a bird's eye view of how everything is looking, and it's looking so good. I'm so happy with this. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna work on the main, uh, the main area up here. So here is what I have in mind. So if you can see, I have a half wall here, a half wall here, a half wall here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this up. So we're about level with the entrance, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys what I normally do. So now I'm using the triangle floors, and we're just going to close all these up all the way around the corner so it creates a square. What if I do this? Then we'll bring out the half wall. I'm going to use these square corners and I'm going to see if they snap here, which they do. And if we look all the way out, oh, that looks majestic. Guys, guys, I'm so proud of myself right now. So I'm not going to finish the bridge to go to the other side. That is the goal. However, if you guys do end up enjoying this video, you found it helpful, and you want to see me extend the base much further out, then definitely give this video a like. It helps out tremendously, that's for sure. But I am far from done, so let's go ahead and get this finished up. Okay, so now for the interior. Again, I did say that this was going to be a crafting room, so it's not going to be the biggest crafting room, but it's going to be a crafting room, that's for sure. Alright, so what I ended up doing is I did full stairs here, side by side, one whole floor, half a stair, half a floor. Then we're going to come out. And we're going to have this space up here to work with. Now let's see what it looks like on the bottom. And yep, okay, that's perfect.
Now there are a bunch of different ways you can go about the space, but this is normally how I feel like I would do it. Definitely just because So we have storage, we have a workbench, we're gonna need a smithy. Also the yoking station, uh, again, you know, you can expand, but the yoking station can go Let's say for, you know, the fun of it, we could place it right there. So that way you come up here and you're like, oh, it just draws to the eye, draws to the eye. Like it. I like it. And we're going to make this like the kitchen area. Now that the kitchen is done, let's go on the other side. I'm going to use this as a bedroom. Now this bedroom is a little bit larger than what I would normally do, but I'm going to make this for multiplayer. And if you don't have bunk beds yet, you just place some lean-tos like side by side by each other for multiplayer. Makes things a little easier. And then you have room to put like individual beds for you guys. There's like, there's two spaces here, one space here, and another space here where you can just place beds. Oh, now I put a little ceiling fan. I'm gonna skip most of the decoration. I just want to give you guys more of an idea of what you can do with the space. All right, guys. So you think the video is over, but it's not because we have all of this to cover. And you can see here, it is a floating semi-castle-esque type of base. And we're gonna fix that right now. So that's three. Keep in mind, that's three. So now we're gonna come to the other side. And we're gonna go from there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to count every single one of these because I have a I have this vision that I wanna do. So let's see, we got two. So now what I'm doing is I'm going by two. So it goes one, two. So you should have like a little separation right here in the middle. Or, or, here we go, hear me out, hear me out. Okay, I think I have to get rid of these. Again, trial and error guys, you're never gonna know what's gonna work until you start doing something. There we go, then we have two in the middle. Okay, perfect. And then we're gonna bring in the half floors. So now what I have is we have uh, a whole ash wall up here, one whole ash wall down here, and then you have the triangle walls that come out at the corners and you're just gonna use the feather quarter wall. And then you're gonna use the feather quarter roofs and you're gonna close it up like that. That way it kind of looks like this. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see. Okay, so I can, cool. There we go. So that is what that's going to look like. We're going to come out by half a floor. In survival, you cannot, cannot build into the water. That's just how they made it to be, but you can build just a bit above it. So hopefully like I did, I got super lucky with it. And there you have it for the bottom. That looks pretty nice, pretty nice. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and bring out the railings. And the railing goes all the way across, just like so. 
It's just too flat. I can't leave it like this. I just can't. I... This is... If this is the first time clicking on my video, I want this to be a good impression, so I am going to do this. So quarter walls all the way up and down. Okay, I know I was really quiet, I was super focused because I just wasn't liking the way it was looking. So, what I'm doing right now is I am actually, uh, what I did was I did, I came out by half a floor, half mushroom wall, half weed stem wall, quarter roofs, half a wall, and the full feather roof. Then we have the full triangle ash walls. This is much better, much, much, much better, so much better. And there you have it, so much better. Oh, it was bugging me. It was bugging me how boring and flat everything was. <sighs> Again, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, um, yeah, I wanted to leave a better impression, that's for sure. And there you guys have it. Oh, it's so much better. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. Oh, so much better, guys. And, you know, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with this. I think I had to figure it out. So, I'm going to add a little bit more details and we're going to close this video up. And that is going to be it for the video. Again, guys, if you found this helpful, you enjoyed it in any way, at any point in time, please leave this video a like as it does help out tremendously. I appreciate each and every one of you for showing all the support that I've received over the past year and a half. However, I am taking my time with these videos, so I hope you all enjoyed it. If this is one of your first time watching my videos, you guys did enjoy it. Consider subscribing so you don't miss out on another building video. Other than that, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye!